All right. Well, hopefully that wasn't too painful, and I do really hope and expect that it'll be helpful to all of us here with K-Life in Des Moines to try and make uh, next year and years to come even better. All that being said, I do want to bring to you uh, some word from this good old book here. And I thought something that might be good and also helpful for you guys is to take another survey in regard to uh, GIFs. Now, GIFs is a, a interesting topic that a lot of us, for some reason or not, the majority of our life, we actually might not ever know what our spiritual gifts are. So I thought, why not try and help you guys out? So leaders, again, if you guys would, go ahead and pass out the next survey here, entitled Youth Spiritual Gifts Test. All right? I think it does a great job of explaining what spiritual gifts are and what uh, your tendencies might be. It tries and attack what you're passionate about because we're all all different and we all have different passions. Uh, but at the same time, it tries and helps you understand what you are good at and then hopefully you might be more uh, be able to be more pointed towards a certain direction in order to help out uh, the body of Christ. Now, I do want to read something to you guys, so you guys can go ahead and start looking at that, start filling it out once you get it. Uh, but I want to read for, uh, to you guys from Romans chapter 12. <clears throat> Starting in verse 3, it says, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. So as you can see, right here, it lists uh, a number of different spiritual gifts and a number of just things that different people uh, are good at. And what it's saying here is, don't hold back. It's saying, do it. Because all of us make up the one body of Christ. Just as an arm on our own body was not made uh, for us to walk on or see with, it's made as our, our arm, hand, to shake another person's hand, high five, you know, use a pencil, write with, eat with, a bunch of different things, but that's all for the arm and the hand. Feet, made to run, walk, jump bunch of different things but it's that's what it was made for it wasn't made to think or to eat like our mouth or our brain so I hope you guys take that scripture to heart again if you guys want to look at it as a group it's in Romans chapter 12 starting in verse 3 going through verse 8 so 
please lead us if you guys would go ahead and make sure they're filling this out they got questions uh, try and help them out there's some great verses in the back to help explain a little better maybe what each gift is and then at the end of this if you guys would please just uh, pray it out and uh, have a good have a great day thanks guys see you in a little bit